Hey guys, Chris here with Phantom Buster. And in this video, we're gonna look at the Yellow Pages Search Export Phantom available on phantombuster.com, which will help us scrape and export the results of a Yellow Pages search into a spreadsheet. All right, let's get started. All right, so to get started using this Phantom, we wanna head on over to phantombuster.com and click on Browse Phantoms. Next, I'm going to scroll down to the left-hand margin and sort by Yellow Pages, and then you'll see the Yellow Pages Search Export. If I click on this title, I'll be sent to the Phantom Overview page, where I'll get a breakdown of exactly how this Phantom works. If you click on the Tutorial tab, you'll get a step-by-step -step summary on exactly how to set this Phantom up. Alright, so now I'm going to click on Use This Phantom. Now first you want to tell the Phantom which searches you want to scrape. You have a few options here. You can use the URL of a single Yellow Pages search, or you can use the URL of a Google Sheet or CSV file containing a list of Yellow Pages search URLs. Just make sure that the CSV or Google Sheets are publicly available. Now I've already gone up to yellowpages.com and created a search for barbershops in Austin, Texas. So I'm going to go to the URL, select all, right click and choose copy, and then head back over to my phantom and in the input section, right click and choose paste. There's also some spreadsheet settings so that if you're using a spreadsheet as the input and it has multiple columns, that you can tell the phantom the column heading of the yellow pages search URLs. But for now, we'll just stick with the single yellow pages search URL. So I'll close this and click on save. Here's where you set the behavior of the phantom. First, you can choose the number of results to scrape per search. And if you leave this empty, the phantom will attempt to scrape all results. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just gonna type in 10. Next, you wanna choose the number of searches to process per launch. This only applies if you're using a spreadsheet. And if you leave it empty, the phantom will attempt to process all the searches in one launch. You can also click this button and rename the result.csv file that gets output. But for now, everything looks good here, so I'll click Save. Here is where you choose the launch settings. You can choose to run this manually, repeatedly. There's also some advanced repeated settings. You can also choose to run this every time another Phantom finishes or just run it once. But for now, I'm just going to choose to run this manually. Next, you want to choose your notification options. You can choose to get notified in case of an error, in case of success, or other advanced notification settings. For now, I'm just going to leave this as none. And then finally, you can choose your advanced settings for setting up a proxy and other critical advanced settings and folder management settings. But for now, everything looks good here, so I'm going to close this and click on Save. This will take you to the Yellow Pages Search Export Console page. If you're ready to launch this Phantom, all you need to do is click on Launch. Now, depending on how many Yellow Pages URLs you're processing, this may take some time. All right, so a Yellow Pages Search Export Phantom is finished running. If I want to get a preview of the results file, all I need to do is go down to result.csv and click on the I Preview icon. This will give me a preview of all of the data that I've scraped from the Yellow Pages URL. If I want to download this, all I need to do is click on Download CSV and choose where I want to save it on my hard drive. All right, so that was the Yellow Pages Search Export Phantom. To get started using this Phantom, you want to head on over to phantombuster.com and create your account. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.